Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we're looking at the battle training plugin. Now this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to practice PvP on these dummies and targets before you actually go into battle. So you can see they look really awesome. I'm going to show you how to craft them first of all. So this is the battle dummies crafting recipe. And then if I fly around the back you can see the target crafting recipe. So let's go ahead and craft these. So if we grab some redstone and some paper that will allow us to craft the target. So go ahead and pop in the recipe like this, a five piece of paper and then four pieces of redstone. That's going to give us a frame uh, or a map. And what we also need is an item frame to put it on. So you can put it on any block, pop the two together like that. You can put multiple on the same block if you want, one on the top, and that will give you a target to shoot at. Now if we grab a bow and arrow, what we can do is practice how good we are at shooting. Now the cool thing about this is it's going to give you points depending on the distance and how close to the middle of the target you are. So you can see I'm shooting various different parts of the target from different distances and it's coming up in chat the score and the distance, obviously the higher the points the better the shot was. So you can see I got 4 points for that, 0 for the next one and I'm actually pretty bad at this um, so you're probably going to be better if you practice this and you get some really cool long shots but that is a good way to practice archery and maybe arrow drop so next we will move on to the dummy so what we need for this is two hay bales stacked on top of each other like that a piece of fence below it and then some wheat either side that will give us a test dummy now we can just pop this down anywhere we like such as that and it will spawn and then we could go ahead and start hitting it. Now if we click on it, there's a couple of different options. There's training options and armor that you can put on it. So I'm going to show you how to put on armor. So it's a little bit odd, so what we need to do is put a dispenser below the dummy and put the dummy on top of it. Then we need to grab some armor, so I'll just grab a couple of random pieces here. And what we need to do is put them in the dispenser like so, and then if we click on the dummy you will see them in there. And then obviously if we start hitting the dummy, it will come up with how much damage we're doing to the dummy. So 4.9. Um, so it just depends on if you charge up your attack or not, or if you just spam click. Now in the training options, there's four different training modes to give you an amount of time to go mad on the dummy and see how much damage and how much you can attack them in that amount of time. So it's going to start in three seconds and then we can start whacking with our sword. You can see if I just spam it I do very little damage but if I charge up my attack I do a little more up to four. So obviously the better the sword the more damage you'll do so a diamond sword will probably be better. Then at the end of the time it's going to pop up in chat all of the information so min and max damage, total damage, time etc, average hits. So let's give that another go with my diamond sword and maybe trying a little harder this time so actually charging up the attacks so we get 7 damage each time. And this way will obviously cause a lot more damage to the dummy or even a person if we were PvPing. Um, and this is probably the most efficient way to fight someone as opposed to just randomly clicking left click. And as you can see this time I've got 129 damage, max damage 7 and that was a lot better than uh, what I did the first time. So that is generally how the plugin works. It's a really simple plugin, but it's just something pretty cool to have, especially if you've got um, a PvP server or maybe a medieval theme server, factions, anything like that. This plugin would be cool to have on there. There's a couple of other things. So if we look at commands, so for slash battle training, if we do give dummy, my username, and then the mount, that will obviously give ourselves a dummy. Then we can do the same command, but give target, and that will obviously give myself one target. Pretty straightforward or you can just craft it, you can do either. And the final command is the battle training reload command that is obviously going to reload the config file if you made any changes. Speaking of which, let's head over there and see what we can edit in there. So here we are in the SMP control panel and as you can see there is a single config.yml and if we go ahead and open it up you can see there's a variety of options up here we've got information about the dummy so the name whether it's visible particle effects we've got the projectile message and the different parts of the dummy then we've got what happens on damage so what actually pops up on the screen scroll down a little bit more we've got the empty armor slot so the lore of what it says so it just says put dispenser below it then we've got the crafting recipe do you want to enable that and then the actual items that you require then we've got the training mode section, so we've got the countdown, we've got a busy message in case two people try and do it on the same dummy, and then we've got messages when it starts and when it stops, you've got all of your information about damage uh, per second and max min etc. 
Then we've got the trained UI, so the clock, um, the back material, and some other things down here you can see. So we've got all the different options, the amount of time uh, for each one. Then we've got the target frame, which obviously uses this image. It uses a map, um, and that is the law for it. And here's a crafting recipe. And that is pretty much everything. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.16. Uh, you can see some pretty cool images um, of what it looks like. So we saw that in game. It's a very cool plugin. Um, I haven't seen anything quite like it. I really like it and would recommend you have it on your server. So if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.